morning everybody it's uh, November the 4th Saturday it's 5 after 7 it is pitch black out here Jared and Alvin and I just got in here uh, if the tables are right we should be in the start of the rut so we're in here for the day we're not even going out for lunch uh, it's overcast mostly cloudy there is uh, 10 to 30 percent chance of rain so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this camera off get the light turned off and set back and get everything calm so thanks for tuning in and we'll let you know what happens throughout the day thanks for watching Looked at the weather and they're saying uh, 11, 12 mile per hour winds all day. Chance of rain picks up to about 40% around 2 o'clock. Jared texted me a little bit ago. He hadn't seen nothing. Asked me if I'd seen anything. Of course, I'd sent him a text just after that spike went through. It was about 9 o'clock. That spike come from my left over here, come down, and right in front of my stand, wasn't 15 yards from me. And it had eight, seven, eight inch spikes, and a uh, big body, but I know there's a nice six point in here, and we've gotten word that there's another big buck in here. And of course, like I said, this is November the 4th. The uh, prediction for the rut was from October 30th to uh, November 9th for peak activity, the seeking out and maybe the chasing. But like I said, uh, he's the only one that went through and he was traveling. He wasn't coming to feed or nothing. He come through stopped a few times. I could have probably got a shot if I'd have been ready. 
but uh, he finally ended up just out in front of me over here. Started down into the holler, turned to his left, like they always do when they come through here. Uh, like I said, we're in here for the day. We probably won't go out for lunch. Uh, glad I had my, my hoodie in the backpack. Uh, temperatures might be in the upper 50s, but with this wind blowing, it, it's kind of cool. So that helped. But other than that, there's nothing else to report. I haven't seen a squirrel or a chipmunk. And, you know, usually when the corn feeder goes off, chipmunks are here gathering up like crazy, but they're not even out. So, I'm hoping we might get a break and deer start moving. It was cloudy all last night. Uh, it rained a little bit last night, so I don't know if they moved or not, but I do know when I went to pick Alvin up this morning, uh, going to his house. Uh, there was a deer standing on the side of the road, and that was at like 520 to 525, so they might have moved early this morning, but if that's the case, then they should be moving here pretty soon. So, we'll just uh, keep watching, keep waiting. Got the doe bleep, got the grunt call. Jared, I've heard him a few times over there rattling. He's got his rattling bag, and I forgot mine. I'd got it out of my tote to uh, put in my backpack, and I forgot to do it. So I'll just use the bleat and the grunt. But uh, get this camera turned back around and see if anything comes through. Hey everybody, it's uh, November 5th, really windy morning, I haven't seen the first deer, there's sign everywhere, they're, they're making scrapes, a bunch of reports of the bucks dogging the does, I don't know if the wind's got them hemmed up to where they're not moving very much or well, what's going on uh, it's uh, it's 10.33 been in here since oh probably about 6.30 7 o'clock somewhere around in there but have not seen anything Dad seen a uh, spike earlier, had it come by within 15 yards of it, but uh, he's hunting for a rack. We've, we know there's a few rack bucks in here. Um, we know there's a six point, uh, an eight point, and then a friend of mine, his wife runs a paper route, that comes out the road here. Uh, she seen one that had uh, six points on one side. So he's holding out for one of these big boys. Right now I'd be happy with a doe. But uh, I'll check back in here after a while. See what's going on. Stay tuned. Well, <clears throat> I just got back to the tree stand. Jared had to go out and get his jacket. Come back, we talked a little bit, went up and got the keys from him. I had a, I think it was a doe and a little one come in here, or start into my spot. My bow was hanging up here in a tree. I just went up and got my keys from Jared. And uh, the, uh, we happened just to look down this way, we seen two tails go over the hill. And you could tell it was a, looked like a doe and a little one. 
And no sooner I got back up my tree, I get a phone call from the club member, and being that I'm the club president of our hunting club, uh, just a squabble between some members, but uh, it escalated, and the one member called the law, so we had law enforcement and uh, the uh, West Virginia DNR and law enforcement, game law, show up, and I had to meet them out there in the main road, so I had to leave. I just got back in my stand, I checked my phone, Jared had sent me a text message about 20 minutes earlier, I texted the time I was coming back in because my radio was dead, and when I got in the tree stand, sat down, got everything set up, I checked my phone, and he's got one. He said, uh, deer down. I've sent him a text message. I tried to call him. Uh, no answer, so I don't know if he's tracking or if he's working it. So I'll just have to wait and see if we get a message back from Jerry.
Thank you, Lord. The rage did its job. Botech Destroyer 350. She didn't go 20 yards. Thank you, Lord. Yes! Yes! That's how it's done right there. It didn't go, it didn't go 20 yards. I wasn't going to take it. But it just gave me too many opportunities. Sometimes you take what the good Lord provides you. Especially whenever you're hunting for the freezer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I hunted hard for that one. That's how you get it done right there. I drilled it, baby. Woo! Let's get down and take a look at it. So, I got complete pass through. There's the air stuck in the ground. When that baby hit her, she sprayed blood all the way to the tree. Right here. And look at all this blood. I mean gushing blood. That's why we shoot rage. We're going to track this booger anyway, even though we know she's just laying over there. Right there's blood. Oh yeah, she was spraying everywhere. Didn't have to look for blood. And she was spraying or it little butt bugs not a she keep calling it a doe there it is old button bug took the heart smooth out of it I just got back from over Jared's town. He got one. So finally, he's got a deer put in his freezer. I've gotten one. If Alvin can get one now. It's now 326. Jared opted to stay in. It's cool enough. You know, he's already got the deer worked. It's cool enough. It's not going to go bad. And uh, he's going to hunt because with the law changes, he can actually kill two in one day. So he's got one down, a doe. So now Buck walks in, he can shoot it. So whew, I just climbed up on a tree stand. I'm tired. After walking out to the road and then having to come back in and then go check on him. But uh, he's got one shot was perfect. Of course, you've seen the video. Uh, it uh, stayed in there and stayed in there to where he could get a good camera shot on it plus a good bow shot. Rage in the cage. It didn't go 40, 50 yards and collapsed. He said it just ripped up the heart. 
so it was a real good shot. Uh, the uh, got pictures of it, but uh, I congratulate him. I'm really proud of him. But he's got one now. If Alvin can just get one. Uh, he's had opportunities. He's missed a few. Uh, so uh, I'm just hoping something will come in his way and he can get it. So get the camera turned back around again, and we'll see if something comes my way. Uh, I'm holding on for a buck. You know, I got that doe. Uh, a week, two weeks ago. Uh, now I'm holding out for a buck. And when I checked my camera Tuesday, got a fairly decent six point. I know there's bigger bucks in here, but so far he's been the only one showed up. And I had this spike this morning. Come right here within 15 yards in front of me. But didn't want to. I had the bow in hand, but I'd heard there'd been a a uh, big rock buck and a spike traveling together. So when he come through, I went ahead and got the bow and I got ready. But I knew the spike wasn't what I wanted. So.